Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at how soap works. For well over a century, public health officials have been pushing regular hand washing with soap as one of the most effective methods of inhibiting the spread of disease and infection. The result of physical as opposed to biological processes, proper hand washing with regular soap will thoroughly remove bacteria. Yes, contrary to popular belief, soap just helps remove microbes, it doesn't kill them. Throughout the day, your hands pick up bacteria and viruses from a surprisingly wide variety of objects. Keyboards especially at public stations, are widely acknowledged to be filthier than toilets per square inch, as are most smartphones and tablets. That's not to mention door handles, cash and credit cards, or the common practice of shaking hands when greeting someone you don't see often or have never previously met. Even the paper towels in public restrooms that you dry your hands with after washing are commonly riddled with microbes spread about from people flushing and the like. Yes, microbes are quite literally everywhere, though thankfully most are harmless to humans, and some are even essential for our lives, as well as certain types of tasty foods. Whatever the source once picked up, both harmless and harmful microbes stick to the oil your hands naturally produce, and absent removal willingly hitch a ride until they reach their ultimate destination inside of you or somebody else, where they can, in some cases, wreak havoc. So how does the soap actually work to remove the offending microbes if it doesn't kill them? When you wash your hands with regular, as opposed to antibacterial, soap and water, the soap chemically works to break down the oil while the friction of rubbing does it mechanically. Thus, the more soap and the longer your hands are rubbed together, once rinsed away with water, the less oil and microbes left on your hands. Public health officials generally agree that this method of hand washing for at least 20 seconds or more at a time is a highly effective way of removing bacteria despite the fact that the bacteria don't die, but are simply flushed away when you rinse or they are wiped off onto a towel. Those who prefer to kill the germs may turn to antibacterial soap. However, it is only marginally more effective than regular soap since the antibiotics in the soap only work on a limited range of germs and public health experts experts, including the FDA, recommend against antibacterial soap due to the likelihood that its widespread use is contributing to the increase in antimicrobial resistance. Of course, even regular soap will be ineffective if it's contaminated, which is what often happens with refillable dispensers. In a recent study conducted in an elementary school, it was discovered that more bacteria was found on the hands of staff and students after they washed with soap from contaminated dispensers than before they ever touched them. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a like below and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also over there on the right are a couple of other videos you may enjoy if you enjoyed this one and thank you for watching.